come back and this started with, off with me making a mini for my nieces that were coming to visit me and my sisters. And now it turns out that I'm going to go visit them in two days. So if I make one for my nieces and my sister, my brother's going to be there with his wife. So I'm making one for my sister-in-law. And then I called my other brother. He's going to be there. So I made one for his new wife. So I went from making three minis to making six. So I hope they like it. I, ho I really hope they like it. But here's my sister-in-law, Sunny. And I did the same thing with the Tim Holtz. I, I did the little charm. And actually these flowers are really cute. I got these at the dollar store. A dollar. Where's the dollar tree? And I got these with the other peach flowers I got. And they only had one pack of each. I wish I would have been able to get more. Here's a Tim Holtz ticket. I used, again, the pink paisley letters. I try to keep all, everyone's letters the same. And I just put tons of fibers on the top. And I didn't like the way the charm hung from here. So I've seen a couple of people put an eye, and what is it, an eyelet, and um, I hung it from the side. Sorry. I kind of like the way that looks, and then I just covered the back of the charm. I didn't like the way it looks so white. See, because it keeps flipping over, so at least you see the paper in the back. I thought that was cute. And then um, I had tons of pictures for her, so I actually made four tags. And I colored them in with the gel markers. And then I just used the, paper, the pictures in the back. And then I put it through the color bug folder. I forgot what it's called. It's flowers something. So they're all pretty much the same. And then I, I hung little charms from each one of them. They all have little angel tags. Little angel charms. And um, they all look the same. That's her now. And last but not least. It's actually her wedding picture with her dad. I thought that was pretty cool. And here I used the birds. What is it called? Birds and something. Cuddle bug folder. Which I thought was pretty cool because it matches the paper in the back. And this paper is, I know this one is Bella Cafe. And this is a picture of her and her boys. And that's my brother and her. And this is a Sizzix die. I cut it out. And I embossed it with a daisy folder from the cuddle bug. And I used some Cane Company embellishments. And on this one is the Big Lots cut above folders that they had. So I actually used, um, I have paper that looks like wood. So I thought that looked so cool. And I made a tag so she can journal. I think they were at the circle, at the circle, excuse me, at the circus there, Central Park Circle, Circus. And then here's a chipboard, and I just put family. And then these were little chipboard frames I had. I colored them, and then I put diamond dust. And just put some, I made a big, a blink flower on top. I love the birds. I don't want to cover up. I love the paper. so sparkly. So you can see I didn't have to do hardly anything to the paper. Not that that picture was so pretty. Again, the same. That's the same Sizzix die, and I just cut the bird off to make it give it a different look and put some stickles on it. Then I put here cherries, just like a ribbon with a little board and pearls. And um, again, I th I thought the paper so pretty. It's like I don't have to do too much since the paper does, you know, so sparkly. And this one, my brother sent me this picture of her. She made her look like Bewitch. So this, again, is from Big Lots, and it's pixie dust. So I just put some bling, and then I took little bling and put it on the, on the picture to look like stars. And then I had a Halloween cat, so I put them in there. So then it says Bewitch Sunny. I thought that was so cute. And on this one, again, it's cut a bug um, that I got at Big, Job, uh, Big Lots. I should say, yeah, I got these. And they're... Um, they're oval, so I cut them, bossed them, and that's a prima flower that I put diamond dust, and then just put memories on top. And I love this picture. And there's an acetate frame. And this is actually the same butterfly I used on the other mini. It was pink, and I didn't think the pink would match with the orange, so I glimmer missed it with, um, what is the color I try to use? Um, burnt red. And I burnt the I burnt the nylon. Um, so I thought, okay, I like the butterfly. So I tried to burn whatever was left, but I burned the bling. <laughs> so I had to add a bling to it. So I was like, well, I even like this bling better. So I thought my butterfly came out pretty cool. 
So, and it says, this is the life. And that's her dancing. I love that picture. And, and then that's the back. So that's her mini. So I have my other brother coming, like I said, and they've been married less than a year. So I don't have any pictures of her. So I just thought I'd make her mini and she can put her own pictures. And her name is Marilu Acosta. So I put the MLA. And I put the dress with the hat. And actually this is from K and Company Brenda Walton box. Which I've been dying to use. And I thought, oh, I love the dress and the hat. And then, oh, and here goes all her fibers. And then I just hung a charm that says love. So again, hers I kept even simpler than the other ones, but I didn't really have any pictures of hers. And I love how these tags came out. I used the Tim Holtz, um, what is it called? It's the one, the patchwork. And it embosses so pretty. Put a charm, and then I just put paper in the back, and this way she put like a little mask so she can put a picture and tie tool on it. And I love the way the tool shows in the front. And this is vellum and I use the swirl folder and I use the swirl folder on the back. So, and here's the other one. I did the same thing and then just put paper and like a little mat on the back. And here's this one. But I love the Tim Holtz folder. The, the embossing is so deep. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes it look so pretty. And you can see it in the back how pretty it looks. So those are there. And here, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's one of the folders and it comes with a little like tag. I guess you can put a picture there. I use some Prima Bling and some pearls on top. Here's my frame again, my one and only frame. <laughs> I put blings in the corner and some stickles. And this is from Michaels. And in this one, I just um, glued a ribbon and I put the paper clip so it can hold the picture. And this is the butterfly I was telling you about that I burned on the other one. This is what it originally looked like. And um, now I know that I can burn nylon very easily. On this side, I embossed the paper with the dots folder, cuddle bug. And this is just so she can, I can show her how to put a picture. I don't know, I might put something else there. But this is Heidi Swap. Uh, ghost, ghost flower. So I left it open. Then I put some ribbon on the bottom so she could actually it can hold the picture there too. I gotta work on staying in frame here. This one is a frame. Um, I got this at Michaels and I left it open so she can slide a picture in here. Put a little chipboard and a little flower on top. Here's another frame and I think I kind of overdid it on this page, but. Once she did it, you can't undo it. I just used this ribbon I got at Joann's. Some Prima Bling. And then here's a smile. This actually came with the paper, so I thought I'd put it on there. It's a little busy, but I figured, hey. And this frame came with the paper collection. I just put it through the cut above folder again. I left it open so she can put a picture of Prima Flower. This is from Kane Company. I guess I should pop this a little bit. Okay. And then that's the back. So these are my minis. Um, I'm a little nervous. I hope they like them. Um, I've worked on these. Well, I, I should say I started in April working on these. And the last two I did within like a week. But um, I hope they like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.